Lauren Boebert is two things, awful and not especially original. As you'll see in this image that she tweeted out with the caption, the Boeberts have your six, Representative Thomas Massey. You know that she's cool because she said that she has his six. No <laughs> spare ammo for you though, and you can see the image of her and her kids standing with a varying levels of interest in what they're doing with <laughs> long guns. And her, she's apparently the size of your average Frodo, I guess. Anyway, uh, posing and oh, she's so happy. I gave big guns to my kids, you know, because people were mad about Thomas Massey's thing, which we'll show you right here. And uh, with Tommy Massey's image, um, people were mad because, hey, uh, a kid just took a gun that was given to him as a Christmas present and shot up a school. So, like having your family makes it seem kind of like heartless. And she decided, oh wait, is that heartless? So sign me up. I got to get me some of that. And so, yeah. yeah, people were mad about the first one. We'll see if she can generate uh, that similar energy around her just carbon copy of Massey's thing. But she is awful. We can agree on that. Yeah, she, well, she's like, man, why not think of something that would uh, get everyone to talk negatively about me? Because again, that's where the clout comes from. That's where the donations come from. That's where you generate your hate from, from doing hateful things. And then after people call you out for doing hateful things, saying that they're so soft. And they're so mean to me for calling out the hateful things that I was doing. So she's just like, ah, I missed my opportunity, but I can copy it. That's all I need to do, right? That's you know, that's 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 her legislative work. This is what she does in Congress. She does things like this to try and get some more attention, so that people can hate her more. So she can say, look how everybody hates me. Give me money. It's it's the, it's it's rinse and repeat, yeah. just with the next subject every time that they do things like this. Hundred percent, and in particular, she loves the performative stuff around the guns. So she at one point pretended to carry her Glock to Congress in a video in January. She publicized a video in March of her walking around the fence, Capitol grounds, and including gunshot sounds. By the way, she like totally just lied about taking her gun in in a video ad. <laughs> she hadn't actually done that. She was just lying about it, like. If I was actually an insane gun nut, wouldn't you be offended that some politician would lie to you about them carrying a gun because they think you're so stupid that you'll just support them because you also like to carry a gun literally every time you go to Del Taco? <laughs> I would be mad about that. They apparently are not that mad. Um, she also told a false story about a man who was beaten outside of her restaurant, Shooter's Grill, an incident that she claimed caused her to allow her staff to possess a firearm on them. That apparently was not why, it was probably just something grifty. Um, so after that fake story, and she loves making up stories, totally. they supposedly carry guns. No word about what the staff started to do after they gave a bunch of people explosive diarrhea at Shooter's Grill. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe those <laughs> like uh, those plexiglass <laughs> shields, just in case of spray. Um, you want to block the uh, the buffet. Um, not the Ew. salads. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, she's just a big liar. She's a big liar, and she's awful. That's that is not much. balsamic vinaigrette that's spraying on the salads. So the, the <laughs> we need more brown gravy coming up. So this is other thing too. So think about this. So when when Massey did it, and it was happened right after that shooting up in Michigan, people are actually upset and want something done about it. And then you go with this. Okay, so he didn't specifically reference it, but we know how this looks. You got children holding guns after children were just killed by another child. Holding a gun. So if you just, and then what was the response to anyone saying, hey, look how insensitive this is to Americans? Now, this isn't a political discussion to Americans, because I don't know or care what people's, what these kids' parents' political views were or where they, who they vote for. They died. Hmm. And we just don't care. So if you think you just don't care about the folks that just got killed, they might be some of your voters. Because the kid who wouldn't shoot up people definitely didn't ask, hey, do your parents vote Democratic or Republican before he shot them? That just, it doesn't work that way. So your lack of care for how people feel about what you're doing after people got children got murdered shouldn't be a political or, or a Republican or, or, or Democratic thing. But with that in mind, imagine when something that was, that, uh, that softball shooting, the, the, the congressional softball practice shooting, and Steve Scalise got shot. Now, I want you to imagine if any other Democratic Congress people took a picture with their family holding guns a day or two after that and went, swing and a miss, almost oh, got geez. one. Oh, batter up. Can you imagine? That's such a good point, JR. How on fire, they, they were upset about people saying nothing about that. People not supporting the guy who shot mm -hmm. that, that, uh, that softball practice. 
They're like, oh, look at them supporting this guy. They haven't demeaned and pushed him back yet. You're openly supporting this kind of violent uh, uh, Ill- uh, imagery. And you and when people point out, it's like, how dare they come for me this way or just say nothing at all. This is the way that they operate. This is how they move through the world because there haven't been very many consequences for these actions yet. Uh, if any at all, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, by the way, I wanted to give you a response to this uh, from AOC who tweeted, tell me again where Christ said, use the commemoration of my birth to flex violent weapons for personal political gain. Lol at all the years Republicans spent on cultural hysteria of society erasing Christians and its meaning when they're doing that fine all on their own. Uh, yeah, like she, she is, she's a real Christian. And she understands less about what this season is supposed to be about than, but like I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend Christmas with my wife and my family, exchanging gifts, appreciating each other's time. If Jesus existed, I have a feeling he'd prefer my version of it. But she goes on to say, when you pose in front of a Christmas tree and can name all those guns, but can't name the gifts to the wise men, and then hey, she's using my new favorite emoji. So. Anyway, um, Lauren Boebert responded saying, AOC uses her position as a congresswoman to attack my boys for oh Christmas God. present. Yeah, sure. Not a good look, Sandy. Sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, and that, does. by the way, that is so much worse than the original thing. And let me explain why I think that. Um, while also acknowledging that she's lying there because she is a massive liar. Because she wants you to believe that those are their Christmas presents. I really doubt that that is the case. That is a lot of guns to buy all at once for your kids. But what she's doing there is uh, Massey was attacked for having kids holding guns so close to Ethan Crumbly killing people. But Ethan Crumbly was literally given his gun as a Christmas present. She wanted to pretend that her family was even more like the Crumblies than his. Crumbly never, or uh, Massey never implied that those were Christmas presents to the kids when they were posing on their awkwardly small love seat. She's lying to make you think, no, I'm like the Crumblies. I give guns too, and here she is attacking me over it. How reprehensible is that? <laughs> As I mentioned before, when people tell racist jokes amongst themselves that aren't funny, the point is just to point out. I'm a piece of garbage. It's the same thing here. It's like, I'm just a piece of garbage. I want you guys to know I can take what Massey did, which was insensitive and overlooked the tragedy. I can take it and I can connect myself to it and say, I support that tragedy. But with enough wiggle room for when people say, hey, you looks like you're copying and saying you're giving your kids an opportunity to be another Ethan Crumbly. Oh, I can't believe you guys are trying to connect my children to this. How dare you attack my boys? You put your boys on a on a picture in front of the country in the world with a bunch of guns in their hands saying that they got this other representative's back, which means they're willing to shoot. Am I right? Is that what that means? If you ask someone's back, does it mean that you're holding a gun and it's just for fun? Or does it mean you're willing to do something with it by watching Representative Massey's back? Because you're in a what? A, what do you do when you're watching someone's back? Oh, you're fighting. Or maybe you're in a, a conflict, a war maybe with someone else that you have to kill. No, all, all, all that just gets connected to it if you'd like to, and if you don't, it won't. Mm-hmm. It's frustrating. Yeah, just buy your kids a book. How about that? <laughs> we we had to go through another thing of like the kids are playing violent video games. Don't give them give them the new Call of Duty or Fortnite before you give them a literal assault rifle. I don't understand people. Anyway, um, Representative Presley, by the way, introduced a resolution to strip Bobert of her committee assignments over the insane lies that, Oh, by the way, there's an updated video. She's been lying about Ilhan Omar even longer. There was another instance earlier in the year where she was telling that insane idea. It's changed literally every single time. And more than 400 congressional staff members are also calling in House leaders to reject her rhetoric. We'll see if that ends up happening. I feel like now we're a week out. It, it happened with Gosar, but I sort of doubt that it's going to happen this time. I don't think so. I don't think no. so either. Um, so we'll see what horrendous thing she does next week. Um, <laughs> oh, God only knows what they're going to say on actual Christmas now. Like them, like, I don't know, like wrapping like lights around a cannon or something. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.